a la gente, you might have heard that October is the month to do a drawing a day. I've tried in the past and I failed horribly, but guess what? This year I don't have any conventions happening. <laughs> so I'm really trying to do it this year. I pre-sketched out half of my illustrations on my computer for the whole month. And today I'm gonna start with Capricorn. But with a witchy theme because, you know, it's poopy times. You know, when I'm from, we don't really do Halloween or Dia de Muertos or any kind of celebration like that. But I've always had an interest in witches and black cats, so I'm somewhat drawn into it. Plus, I think that this is a great opportunity to get more videos out. For my illustrations, I'll be using Canson Pro Layout Marker Paper, and I'll trace my sketch onto it using this Crayola Laid Up Tracing Pad. For pencils, I'm using Pentel Red Lead in a Mars Stedler Mechanical Pencil. To color it, I'm using Copic markers, the Parkour marker set I reviewed before, and a handful of color pencils for some detailing. I'm gonna pull up the color reference for this character on my phone. She's one of my cosmic zodiac cuties. I've only drawn them as chibis in the past, and I thought this would be a great way to do more with them. You can use them as stickers on Instagram stories if you search for my username in the gift tab. I'll be using the Parkour markers for this and the feature illustrations mostly as my base colors. They're very saturated colors, just as I like, and I can mix them with Copics for shading, because they're both alcohol-based markers. I'm layering colors to create gradients, but it won't be super detailed shading, as I'm imitating my digital illustrations for this. Designing Zodiac characters is a very popular idea. My concept for the designs of these girls is to have the hair be a representation of the imagery behind the Zodiac sign. The Capricorn sign uh, is represented by a sea goat, and for my design, the hair has the goat horns while the braid represents the fish tail. In this illustration, however, because I'm giving them witch hats for the spooktober feeling, I added straight up horns to the hat. For inking, I'm using Copic multiliners in different sizes. I tried some Sakura multiliners, but I didn't have a color that was similar to what I wanted, so I ended up using Copic multiliners in black and burgundy. Pulling up my own drawings as reference to see the outfit that I had designed for her, I realized I messed up on coloring and gave her long stockings. <laughs> no, no biggie, I kinda like this look too. I grabbed the tracing pad again because the eye sketch was just not right, so I inked it directly with the sketch underneath. I love the look of neon colors, so I'm using a neon Prismacolor pencil to give her blush. This paper is not great for pencils, but this was really small area to cover, so it went fine. Um, it's important to let the markers dry first, though. Using a white signal pen for sparkly details, I'm adding shinies to her eyes, heart on the cheeks, hair, and everywhere else where I usually do these things. At first, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with her background. But then I thought it would be neat if I added flowers. I looked for a list of flowers supposedly assigned to zodiac signs, kind of mix and match what I like best, so now every illustration will have a different set of flowers. I didn't want to ink their line art with the black multiliners though, so I had to figure out another way to make it visually interesting. I love line art, so I wouldn't leave them without it. But at first I thought of using a gold metallic ballpoint pen, but when I grabbed mine, it was completely dry, and <laughs> I didn't want to have to put aside the drawing and go buy another one. So I grabbed the silver one that I have, and the same thing happened, so my best next option is always the white signal pen. And honestly, I really love how it turned out. I want to draw a color stroke around her, um, originally gold, but yeah. So I grabbed one of the glittery ballpoint pens from this gel pen set that I got recently, and I really like how the color complemented everything. After finishing the flowers, I thought it was missing a little bit more, so I decided to draw the constellation behind her, with the same glitter pen as her out outline stroke. And 
and the signature makes it complete. I'm very happy with the result. This was the easiest October challenge drawing I've ever done. <laughs> uh, now there's only 30 to go. This is my list in case anyone is interested in participating. You can do it at your own pace, pick and choose if you want, tag me on Instagram if you do it. Also, today is the launch of my art book Kickstarter. I'm really nervous and scared, but I really want to see if we can make the goal. Please check it out on the link below. If you enjoyed this video, you know, like, subscribe, find me on Instagram at Shorimajo for more art and join my Patreon, the Cutie Mail Club for monthly surprises. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao, ciao!